working on Sunday. Oh, feels like I almost have to. Cause I'm feels like I'm underwater right now because I'm so far behind. But so our first work order is gonna be another, I would say a bad GFI. It's uh everybody says you know GFI, it's really GFCI, but GFI is slang for it. It's gonna be outside. Uh the tenants aren't home. And so I'm gonna have to do it live. I'm hoping it's just a bad GFI. It's, luckily it's not that far from my house. We'll give it a day in court. I'll get you guys some shots. I'm guessing it's a 15 amp. So I'm gonna grab me a 15. I always like buying the three packs. This is actually was at a deal at Home Depot. Three GFIs for uh, 26 bucks. You can't beat it. I I don't like buying them individually. Cost too much. And I'm just waiting to do a video on these. This is the edge. This is the push-in ones. It's kind of like the Wagos. You just push the wire and you flip them back. Just waiting. So they said it is in the back of the house. Oh man. That's a nice setup. And there we go. Oh. You can't miss it. I don't know why they were so worried about telling me where it was at. <sighs> Let's see if it's a 15. 20. Luckily I bought those today. Luckily. Okay, no power. Obviously the button's in. I can't see. Oh yeah, she's bad. <clears throat> yeah, the wrong uh, screws on this. These are for uh, plates inside the house. You can just tell it's bad too because obviously it just keeps getting clicked out. It's usually just a GFI that goes bad. Unless you have bigger problems, but yeah. There we go. Okay, let me go get a. Uh, probably gonna put a new cover plate on it too. You'll get that from the truck. Oh, I always like to double check. So we got power. Yeah, we're good. And then what I just noticed that it's actually 14 gauge copper. So this is wrong. They're not supposed to have a 20 amp receptacle GFI on this. that doesn't get grounded somewhere so we have nothing blowing up get that out of the way we're gonna ground this pig if you look there's always a screw hole for a ground it's on the left side
I love these pre-made ones. Sometimes they don't screw in on the older boxes. At least I try. And they make clips for these too. Clip, clip grounds. So if there's no point to attach the ground, you can just clip it on. Okay, so we're all grounded now. And then, okay, what we're gonna do, we'll trim this sucker down. We're not gonna use the load side. I always take these off. You can see closely, line, load. That's if you want to hook up uh, those cheap receptacles to this. And you can load the receptacles and they act like a, a GFI. So you don't have to spend $20 for uh, three, you know. So if you want it load three outlets down the line it won't cost you 60 bucks it only cost you 20 plus those two 60 cent outlets well maybe i like movement maybe i'll do that last I should be allowed to use this head. It's my problem is I like to over torque stuff. I'm always so worried about it getting a good connection. I do like the head on this. Good and tight. Good and tight. Now we're gonna ground it. Without blowing the place up. do is I have this new one I want to put on here I think they're all different you just got to pay attention how they go together 
and I should have probably, uh, I'm sure I could feed everything over the wires or over the outlet. Let's hope, because I don't want to take it apart again. Universal. Hardcore universal. Little pieces. And then, what else we got to do? How's this thing attach? Oh, look at that gray stone crap out of it. And we're going to stretch the tape. Even when you don't think you are, it's still getting a stretch. That's why I kind of pull it out a little bit. A little bit. Then I just kind of let it stretch back. So now, push the wires back in, don't skin anything, make sure everything looks all kosher, that there's no nicks in the wires. Come on, get in there, my chubby fingers. That's why I'm leaving the feet on. So it actually grabs it. And I definitely think you should put a ground wire on this. Because you notice, I mean, you have no chance of even touching these feet on the box. Even though they're saying that the ground goes through the screws. But these are the most I've seen where, you know, people don't put a ground wire on. And I check it and it's not grounded. It shows that it's not grounded. Should be a lot easier now. So this is just going to get screwed right into the threads of the GFI. Same thing, silicone it again. This is ready for exterior and interior. Turns clear. And that's a wrap.